hello everyone in this video tutorial we will learn how to install web logic we are we have already installed java database and now we will install web logic now for installation of web logic at first we need to download the file from eatlibri.oracle.com and then we need to extract uh, the file after extraction we will get a file like this so after extraction we will get a jar file like this so for Installation for e for easiness of the installation, we will make the path short. That can be done by copy the file, whole file. I will copy and I'll put it in my C drive. So it will be easy to take the path. Go to C drive and I'll copy here. Paste. Continue. Now, my jar file has been copied in C drive. Now, for installation of web logic, we need to run a web logic launcher. Now, I will see you how to do it. We are going to do it with command prompt. We will type cmd, run as administrator. Now, now here we will type cd space we have given cd space now we will go to the program files program files java we will give the java path program files java jdk pin okay now copy this one and paste it here and click enter now we will write java dot exe space slash jar and then we need to give a space now we will give the our web logic file location that is that is our file location this one we will copy this right click rename just will copy the file file name give the location that is c colon outside it arrow and then paste dot jar okay now we will click see this is the web logic installer or command okay and we will click enter now it will extract the installer just wait uh, a window will be opened for installation of web logic in that way we we use to install web logic it's not necessary that we can uh, we have to put in C drive but for uh, so if you put in C drive it will be easy for it to extract the path for it we have given the uh, path for program files up to bin and then we have written java.exe space slash jar and given the location of the web logic file that we have kept in C drive now now our installation our installer has opened for weblogic installation let's see how to install the weblogic now we will click on next okay skip auto update okay okay click next I have given C drive, it will be saved in C drive. Okay. Then I will okay web logic server. Next. Okay. Then next. And then I will install the web logic. Now it will take some time for installation. I it will create your files in C drive. That's it. 
person completed fifty two percent completed now it's generating libraries now now it's hundred percent completed now you click on next and start the configuration now we have to click on next finished installation of web logic has completed now configuration window has opened if you could not able to uh, if, if the configuration window will not open here then you can go to the file and uh, the file where it has installed and check for config.cmd from there also you can install or config config the web logic I will create a new domain okay I will create a new domain and the domain is getting in the C drive okay fine now I will click on next I will create okay create domain for template okay fine next We have logic. I will write password we have logic at the rate one. We have logic at the rate one. Now I will click next. I will. I don't need to give location, but uh, I can give location also. No problem. I can go to the program files. Oh, drive program files java jdk okay now i click open click next i will click administration server click next admin server local 7701 that is my port now i click on create Okay, completed 100%. Now I click next. Okay, finish. Now my solution for web logic has finished. Okay. Now we have learned how to install web logic and web logic. In the previous video, I have shown you how to install database. Now we will connect web logic with database. For that, we need to go to CMD. Go to one prompt run administrator okay click yes okay now here we need to type cd cd to type cd space c colon Outward slash enter. We will write SQL sorry SQL PLUS SQL plus enter. Okay, now in, we will enter the username. Username is SYSTEM system enter SYSTEM system 01. In red user ID password, the password which I have given for Oracle that I need to type here. That is okay. System one S Y S T E M. System one enter S Y S T E M. System zero one in red user ID password. Okay. Now we will see how to connect web logic with database. Check the database connector. We need to go for CMD. Right click on the administrator. Okay. And then we will type SQL plus 
space slash add space sys db system database enter now 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 we can see oracle database is connected to web logic thank you everyone for next video please keep tuned we will see installation we, we will see how to install eppm and uh, we will deploy eppm on web logic